Hi everyone, welcome to Linda's Thrifty Life. I hope you're doing well on this wonderful Thursday morning. I'm here to share with you three, three items <laughs> I found at the thrift store. Um, pickings have been slim and I am being very picky about what I find, what I buy and purchase and stuff because I am, you know, I'm supposed to be downsizing, not adding to things. But I did find a couple of crafty things, and this is just like two thrift stores, so I don't get to go into many. But the first thing I found was this bottle of blush pearl um, metallic paint. It is so pretty. I don't know if you can see it. It was 50 cents, which is probably what it was at Walmart. But it's pretty full, and... Um, I don't remember seeing this color when I was in Walmart, and like I say, I'm not going in the, in the big stores like that too much, even right now, to shop. And then I found this, which is just stunning. Uh-oh, has cat hair on it. Annie's been visiting it. <laughs> it was this ball of yarn. Look at the colors. Look at the texture. Isn't this beautiful? I just love this. It's so perfect for fall. I just, I had to have it, and that was a dollar, and like I said, the cat hairs are free if I send you some. <laughs> Annie, 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 well, any of you that have pets know you don't live in a house with an animal that you don't have hair, that you just, you know, cat or dog, so, but I just thought this was beautiful. I just enjoy petting it like Annie, Annie does. Annie, Annie creates, this is so pretty. <laughs> And then yesterday, I have to tell you my little story. I went to Dollar Tree. Nothing. Nothing. Um, they don't have anything but just the barest of Christmas things, which I've already seen all of that. No Halloween. No fall. Empty shelves everywhere. I left with nothing. Then I went to Hobby Lobby. No clearance that jumped out at me. Um, I don't really need anything, as we well know. I looked at the Christmas. Now, that was fun. I always like to go and just look at the Christmas and get all Christmassy feeling, but everything was just, I don't need it, and I was so proud of myself, so I didn't buy anything at Hobby Lobby except I did buy uh, a new wreath for my mom's front door. She needed, she wanted a new fall wreath, so I got her that. It's it's um it has sunflowers on it and it's really bright and pretty and she really liked it. So I was like, well, what else can I do? Well I'm gonna go to this thrift store I haven't been to in a long time. And I went through, I did put a couple of things in my basket, but then I took them out. But I bought one thing, and it is this adorable teacup. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. Wait. Let me turn it around. Isn't that pretty? You can see how fine chi bone china it is. And it's uh, Royal Standard Bone China England. And uh, yellow is not usually a color I really like, but this one is just so pretty and it's a soft buttery yellow. It's not real bright. And so um, they were 99 cents each piece, so $2. Of course, they didn't have them together. I had to go searching. I found the teacup, and then I went searching for the, uh, the saucer, but I found it. So I was so happy. Well, that's my thrifty Thursday, <laughs> you know? But that's good. That's good. That's what I keep telling myself. That's good. So I have some good news. Um, my aunt seems to have rallied a little bit. They actually got her out of bed yesterday, sitting in a chair. And um, my cousin is so happy. And uh, we just, ha we have said those Birkeland girls are just really stubborn. <laughs> that's that's mom and my Aunt Betty's maiden name. Those Birkeland girls, they just don't give up. So, And we're so happy that she's doing better. She's not out of the woods yet by any means, but I know that it's done her family good to see her awake and uh, talking and, you know, sitting up. And, um, you know, she is still having trouble swallowing. But hopefully she'll rally and, you know, we'll have a little more time with her. 
And the good news is my mom is still doing well. Um, she fatigues just like walks down the hall and she's, she's very fatigued. But um, she seems to be adjusting to it a little bit better, accepting it. And that's, that's the hard part for her is accepting, you know, the changes. But she's doing really well and she's feeling so much better. And that just, you know how when she's not feeling well, it just, it worries me so much. It's just really hard. So I thank you all for your prayers and your well wishes. And, and it just means a lot to me. We do have some really, you know, concerns in our community of, of um, crafters that are going through things, family, health issues. And um, if you follow them and, and um, you know who they are, just keep them in your prayers, you know, and just if you don't pray, just keep them in your, you know, well wishes and good thoughts. And, you know, I believe in the power of prayer and, and uh, that good positive energy that, that goes out. So that being said, I hope to do a little project share later on. I do have a grocery haul to pick up, so we'll see if I can get it done before then. But I wanted to pop on and share with you my little, <laughs> my little thrifty finds and just wish you a happy Thursday. I'll talk to you later. Bye now.